Hello, adventurer. Oh yes, there is some traps in Krita. And maybe you fell into one and uh, get the classic why I can't paint, uh, why it is lagging, uh, why my colors are not correct suddenly. And uh, all of that are really often really some things that you can solve yourself. So let's start. So first in my list, you start Krita and start to want to draw and suddenly it's like your movements are constrained and there is a big lag and yeah, the brush doesn't react really well. And it's like you have a pack of stone on the top of your stylus and you don't know why. Uh, you look everywhere, you change the tool and yeah, all the tools react this way. You even go to the brush editor and you can't find anything. All looks normal. And yeah, that's the stabilizer. And if you go to the tool option here, uh, you have a brush stabilizer uh, that is on. And that, that can come from a previous session or someone else using your computer and trying to push the button. It's a very common one because this is a tool option of the brush tool. So you can try all the option here, weighted or something, and it result with something that is not working smoothly. So you can go back to basic here and then you will be able to, to, to draw again normally. Yes, with a free hand movement. And, and this is something very common because once you hide the tool option, there is nowhere in the user interface of Krita that tells you that uh, you have a stabilizer that is on. And this is uh, a big issue in my opinion. So another common issue is when you have your brush strokes that lags, uh, they appear with delay. It's, it's a little bit too hard to show it here when I'm recording a video, but you get the idea and you have some bending also on the color selector. Uh, the files are very huge with Krita and you don't know what, why this is happening. And when you export, especially as JPEG or PNG, uh, your file uh, do doesn't have the same color rendering and uh, you don't know why and this is a common pitfall because um, here on the bottom of my screen you can read that this is a YCBCR document in 32-bit float channel and uh, this is not really uh, recommended to paint unless you know what to do and how did you get something that is here a uh, problematic so by default, and for most of the case of the picture you will do uh, in Krita, you will select when you create a new document, a RGB document and in eight bytes. But the, you know, if you don't know anything about this, about color space and everything, uh, a beginner will see this and say, hey, uh, maybe the best one is the one on the bottom of the list. So I will take maybe this one. And uh, yes, my computer is strong and I want to make quality art. So 8 bit, no, let's go directly to 32 byte. And uh, wow, uh, th they pick just the higher and higher because they think they their new passion for art deserve it. And they don't understand that this sort of better is not really better. It's, it's just a, a color space that are very uh, specific and very wide for some very specific usage and it will put your computer to the, to the ground and make you a lot of uh, color issue. Again, if you don't know what you are doing, if you know what you are doing and you know you selected this on purpose, uh, this is okay, but here is a troubleshoot video and it's for beginners. So uh, if you don't know how to solve this, uh, you go to image, convert image color space, and you go back to RGB alpha, 8 byte, and you take the sRGB built-in or, or the one with written default, sorry. Another common issue is about the colors and sometimes uh, some paint a full artwork like this and uh, complain they can't paint a very deep black. For example, it's grayish and uh, uh, 
there is uh, all the color that looks like desaturated and they don't know why. And as soon as you export it to JPEG or something, you see that uh, there is some rich black and everything and it's not what you have on the canvas. And this is often uh, because of the soft proofing. Um, it's a feature of Krita that can show you your work for the printing with a printing color space. It's a sort of dynamic overlay on the top of your artwork and you can activate it with Ctrl plus Y key. So if I put Ctrl Y, you see the color restore to normal. If I put it, you see it's, it's written soft proofing mode, turn it on. The problem is a lot of users are used to get Ctrl Z to undo and Ctrl Y to redo. So Clicking on Ctrl Y accidentally, just to try to redo once, it's not something uncommon. And um, once you do it, and if you skip the little notification on the corner that disappear pretty quickly, uh, then you don't know what the mode is, because there is nothing on the interface here to tell you that you are in soft proofing mode. So one of the common issues also is when you can't paint on Krita, for example. You check it that you are in a paint layer, it's not uh, locked or anything, but you can't paint. You have black color, you are in normal blending mode, and these things can make you mad. What's happening? And sometimes and very often it can be a um, hidden selection. For example, here I had a little selection on the corner. Um, it can it can happen, just a misclick with the selection tool somewhere. And if it's not really visible, or if it's uh, <laughs> outside of the canvas, <laughs> it's really difficult to see. And uh, so one of the reflex to get is to get to, to go to the select and they'll select all. They select to be sure there is no selection. This can uh, probably remove a lot of uh, problem and, and then check also the this padlock here and for the last one it's also a classic uh, you can enter in Krita into full screen by pressing the tab key and this is very convenient when you are on a tablet device or a device without a lot of room and if you have access to a keyboard of course but if you press tab accidentally yeah, you can press uh, escape, you can, uh, yeah, apart from closing the program, there is not, not a lot of things you can do. And yes, there is a little notification, but uh, have you got the time to read it here? So if you learn something, please thumbs up. And if you have some other traps in Krita, uh, leave them in the comments. I, I'm always laughing a lot reading them. Thank you very much. Bye bye.